Have to cry sometimes. So much trouble. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. But that's alright. I know that Jesus will fix it. After a while, trouble in my way. I have to pray sometimes. Oh, 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 trouble. I have to pray sometimes. I lay awake at night. But that's alright. Put your hand together. All I know that Jesus will the wild stepped in the furnace long time ago shed rack and me shed the bendigo Spirit, 
illuminate thy word, I pray in the name of Jesus. Open our eyes that we might be able to see clearly. Open our hearts to receive thy word. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, open our ears so we can hear. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. 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 Luke chapter 10. Um, we're going to um, try to close this out. Now we had um, we, we, we had press pause last Sunday because we had a guest preacher. But we, we did not really finish this series entitled It Is Necessary. Yes. Amen? Amen? Anybody remember that series? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Luke chapter 10 verse 38. Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. 39 and she had a sister called Mary which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about, about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, doest thou not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. 41, and Jesus answered, said unto Martha, said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. 42 is final verse, but one thing is needful. In other words, one thing is necessary. And Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. That is the word of God for the people of God. You may be seated in this place. We are going to, with the help of the Lord, by aid of the Holy Spirit, we are going to uh, attempt to close out this particular series. Certainly thank God for my preacher, the Reverend James Tony. Clap your hand for him. Amen. Come on, we can do better. Clap your hand for the man of God. Come on. Hey, y'all been praying for him? All right, all right. Thank God for these wonderful deacons and deaconesses. Uh, all here assembled, Lady King, of course, and uh, every foot that trod this building. It is necessary. Brothers and sisters, we need to talk about the Lord's intercession on behalf of his people. And the reason we need to talk about it is because when we consider the fact that after Mary and Martha had poured their hearts out to Jesus, Jesus then turned to his heavenly father and prayed on their behalf. In other words, he interceded for them. We need to keep in mind that not only did he intercede for them, but he's willing and he does intercede on our behalf as well. He does the same thing for you and for me. We need to always keep in mind, uh, Reverend Tony, we need to always remember that whatever the Lord did back then, he's able to do today. Nothing changes about God. You ever think about that? Nothing, I mean nothing, absolutely nothing ever changes about God. Amen. Uh, uh, his characteristics are the same. Uh, the personality of Christ is the same. Amen. And what he did for Grandma Manim, he can do it for us today. He, he does not change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Uh, however he was uh, in the beginning is the same way that he is on today. Amen. And so we understand that when we take our burden uh, to the Lord, uh, uh, watch this, 
the entire Holy Trinity gets involved. Stay with me. The entire Holy Trinity uh, gets involved in meeting the need. Amen. The Son, Jesus, prays for us. Amen. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, guides us and comforts us. And the Father himself opens the storehouses of heaven. Come on here. And moves our circumstances on the earth realm. Uh, amen. To make sure that our need is being met. Do y'all hear me today? All three of them, all three parts of the Holy Trinity get involved in our business. Amen. We need to understand, brothers and sisters, whatever, let me say it again, somebody in the corner missed it, whatever God did back then, he's able, tell your neighbor he's able. You gotta say it like that, say he's able. He's able to do it right now. Not only, uh, not only do we, we talk about uh, the Lord's intercession on um, behalf of the people, uh, but He, uh, we need to talk about the Lord's intervention in the need of His people. The Bible says that. Jesus speaks the word. And I know it's not a part of the text that we read, but it's around this text. It's around, it's, it's involved, uh, included in the context of what we're dealing with. Jesus speaks the word and suddenly Lazarus is living again. Y'all with me? So what Jesus did, Jesus superseded the laws of nature to meet the need of his people. Tell your neighbor, the nature, the, the nature has nothing to do, uh, amen, against the Savior. He has nothing, amen. When the Savior steps in, the Savior can supersede the laws of nature. God will move heaven and earth just to meet your need. Y'all believe that? Now you got to believe it now. You got to believe it and receive it. The Lord himself will move heaven and earth just to meet your need. Oh, he'll do it. He made the heaven and the earth so he has power to move it himself. And I let me throw this in for free. And if he has the power to move the earth, he got power to move people on the earth. Come on. The very one that has been hating on you. The very one that don't like you. The very one that don't want to see you make progress in the things of God. God has power not only to move the situation, but to move that person. In the raising of Lazarus, Mary had many of her needs met. Stay with me. In seeing the Lord perform this great miracle, she understood some things. Number one, she understood the Lord's purpose. Let, let, me, let me give you the background. Jesus, watch this. When the word came to Jesus, Jesus was only about two miles from Bethany when he got the word, which means that he could have walked there in about 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah you can walk if you ain't fooling around now. You know, you can walk, you can walk two miles in about 30 minutes. Come on. Tell your neighbor if you ain't fooling around. Amen. But instead of him walking, watch this here, instead of him immediately leaving where he was and going to where they are, Jesus chooses to wait for two days. And then he did not arrive until two more days had passed by. Y'all with me? So this had to be very hard. 
for these women to understand. Amen. But yet in seeing uh, him raise Lazarus from the dead, uh, amen, they were able to understand that Jesus had a higher purpose. Amen. In what he had allowed her to endure. Jesus has a higher purpose than me and you. So, 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 so brothers and sisters, uh, it's the same uh, with you and I. We are not always able to understand what God is doing in our lives. Come on. Come on. We are not always able to understand, Reverend Tony, amen, what the Lord is doing in our lives until his purpose has been fully revealed. And God, in his infinite wisdom, he does not always reveal everything to us. It's some stuff he keeps from us because we just can't handle it. I wish I had a church right there. It's some stuff God does not reveal, watch this here, because we don't have the intellect. Come on here. We don't have what it takes to, amen, to deal with it if God would lay it all on you. Because the Bible said he only gives what we can stand. He only allows that which we are able to bear. And so brothers and sisters, you want to thank God that he kept some stuff from you. Not only, not only, not only, brothers and sisters, does Mary uh, understand the Lord's purpose, uh, but Mary also understands the Lord's power. Amen. If Lazarus had not died, Mary would have never known that he was able to raise him from the dead. You ever think about some stuff that go on in your life? So we, we got to stop getting mad all the time. We ought, to, we ought to take time, we ought to pause sometime and just thank God for the experience. You know, and, and, and every experience ain't going to be a good experience. Come on, come on. The Roman writers say, and we know that all things work together. Hello, lights. For the good of them that love God. Come on. And are the called according to his purpose every experience is not necessarily a good experience but it is an experience that working for our good and you know we are sometimes we want to think about some things that we you know have experienced in our lives and some stuff maybe perhaps we're experiencing now um, and sometimes God would allow certain in, uh, incidents and events to occur in our lives just so that we can trust him to get us out of it. Mm. Mm. I help somebody, they ain't saying that, but I'm helping them. Yeah, God, God, God will allow, God will allow, uh, uh, amen, us to go through some things just so that uh, we can just so he said, okay, now I, you know, you know, kind of comical with it. God sitting back with his arms folks and now I'm gonna let them go through this. You know, he folds his arms, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let them go through it, and I'm gonna see if they're gonna put their trust in me. <laughs> now I'm gonna see. Now, 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 now they in church every Sunday dancing on the ceiling. They turn cartwheels down the aisle. Come on. Y'all missing me. They do the holy dance. Come on. Now I'm going to let this happen. Just to see. Amen. It's not, I'm not going to let it happen to do them any harm. Amen. Because I'm going to get them through it. But I just want to see if they're going to trust me to get them through it. Y'all with me? So, so when Lazarus did die... Then Mary knew firsthand about the great power, there's that word, the great power of the Lord Jesus. So we need to keep in mind that when we go through trials and tribulations, um, we, we may question uh, the Lord's wisdom in allowing us to endure some of the things we face. But when he comes through for us, then we know firsthand. Tell your neighbor we know firsthand. Then. 
that, that he has all power in heaven and in earth. Amen. And that's the truth that we need to learn, y'all. We need to learn that truth. Um, when we do learn this truth, it increases our faith and it helps us to trust more fully in him and in the power that he possesses. Amen. Because you do know that God got power that man ain't got. <laughs> Amen. When, 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 man, when man reaches a stopping point, God continues. Y'all with me? Tell your neighbor, man can only go so far, so far with you. And after that, you got to trust Jesus. Come on here. Amen. So, so, so at the feet of Jesus. Here it is. Mary, Mary, Mary is at his feet. And I believe by now we have validated the fact that it is necessary. It is, it is, it is necessary for Mary um, to be at the feet of Jesus. And, and we've learned um, during part one that uh, being at the feet of Jesus, uh, Mary discovers that uh, first of all, it is a place of stillness. We talked about that. And, and secondly, Mary uh, discovers that it's also a place of supplication. All right? All right. No takers know what I'm talking about. Amen. And, and those that's been coming to church. Amen. But, but, but watch this here. Not only is it a place of stillness, not only is it a place of supplication, but it's also a place of service. We don't like to serve. I knew, I knew it. I knew it would get quiet. I knew. I, knew. I was expecting your quietness. <laughs> we don't like to serve, but we ain't got no problem with others serving us. We, got, we don't like to serve. We don't like. We don't like to. <laughs> we don't like. Amen. We don't like. Amen. Amen. Mary, Mary discovers that, that being at his feet is a place of service. Amen. Mary is so overcome with the love of Jesus. She, 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 and, and, and what helped her do it, what helped her get there is, is a him raising Lazarus from the dead. Man, you mess around and be a witness to a miracle from the Lord. Man, man let, let me tell you something. It'll push you into a certain place. Oh, man. Do y'all hear me? It'll push you to a certain place with God. You won't be at the same place you was yesterday. Just go through some stuff here. Do y'all hear me? Just, just be a witness to the miracle, the manifested miracle of God, the power of God. Just be a witness to it and, and you'll get to a certain place in God. You'll get to a place of service. Mary is so overcome. Mary is so overwhelmed that Mary is willing to pay whatever price necessary. Willing to pay whatever price is necessary to serve him. Because Mary understands that sometimes it may require her to just get at his feet. Remember, on last time we talked about it, we mentioned the fact that, that Mary's at his feet, but she ain't saying nothing. Mary is at Mary is at the feet of Jesus, but she ain't talking. She just at his feet <laughs> because she wants him to pour into her. Don't miss that. Amen. Come on here. How can you receive? How can you be so receptive if you are the one doing all the talking? 
name. We need to just shut up. Somebody said, Rev, you could have said it nicer than that. <laughs> I wish I had. Well, a mature Christian would be able to have Come on, somebody. Amen. Mary said, look, I don't care. I'm willing. Martha, you go on and do what you're doing, baby. You got no problem with what you do. If that's what you want to do, you go on and do that. Because I got to get to know, now listen, I got to get to a certain place in him.
is equal to a whole year's wages. Amen. She was willing to give this up. She was willing to give up this treasure because she loved him just that much. Y'all with me? And I need to pause right up in here and tell somebody, amen, Mary was willing to give up a whole year's wages. But somebody else is not even willing to give him 10%. Y'all don't like the preacher. I wish I had a church up in here. Amen. Mess around, mess around and pass the tray and say, listen, we need to collect this amount today. Mess around and do it. We need to get it today in the name of Jesus. And we ain't going to the bank for a loan. We're going to get it today right here. Mess around and do that and see how many people you make mad. Amen. Mary gave her best. Mary gave everything she had to the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we should do the same thing. When we give anything less than our best, we really have not made any sacrifice at all. It is not until we give all of us that we are truly displaying our love for him. Amen. But if we decide to shortchange Jesus, mm, let's not let's not let's not shortchange him, y'all. Let's not shortchange him with our time. Let's not shortchange him with our talents and neither our treasures because if we do that, we are not really displaying our true love for him. Amen. His desire is that we give him all of us. I believe it was John Legend who wrote the song, say all of me. For all of you. But the reality is that yes, we want all of God. Yes. The reality is that we want all of Him. But oftentimes we are not willing to give God all of us. For what we really want to do is give Him. What we think he deserves from us. Mm, but, but when you think about it, you can quickly recall that uh, when, uh, when God sent Jesus mm, into a mean, mean world, and uh, when the Lord Cause him to go all the way to Calvary. Can I tell you that he sent him there just for us? But, but uh, we really did not deserve it. But, but he did it in a way. But uh, we need to always remember. And, uh, oh, it's necessary to get at the feet of Jesus. Don't worry about your neighbor. You ought to be like Mary is in the tech because uh, Mary, Mary said, listen, Martha, you go on and run around the house. You go on and do your thing, baby. But if you're looking for me, yeah, if you're looking for me, I'm, I'm gonna be at the feet of Jesus. Lord, 
You ain't got to wonder where I am. You ain't got to sit on a certain party. But I, I am. Stay at his feet, preacher. Stay at his feet, man. Stay at his feet, man. <laughs> stay, stay at How many here today at, at his feet? Come on. Be real. Be, stay at his feet. Oh, bless his name. Amen. Serving the Lord will pay all after a while. Mm, after a while, serving God is going to pay off. Oh, after a while, oh, yes. Just keep on working every day. Whatever God says, I know He'll pay. Serving the Lord. We'll pay off after a while. The door of the church is open. We extend Jesus today. Maybe somebody who do not know him. Part of their sin. You might accept the Christ as Lord and Savior. Never been baptized. Never been baptized. Come on. Come on. Come on, accept Jesus. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart, Confess with your mouth that Christ died, rose again the third day, then you're saved and you're going to heaven. Time is winding up. Amen. Come to Jesus while you have a chance. There may be someone else who is searching for a church home, want this to be your church home. We, we want you to come. We invite you to come. Amen. Be a part of our family. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to make Hickory Grove your choice. But your church, say, yes, you just roll, roll around town tell people, say, that's my church. <laughs> Amen. Sure. Praise the Lord. We want you to come. Amen. Amen. All right, all right. I was to offer unto you, privately yours to receive. Amen. There's no movement, so um, I trust and believe privately that all here assemble are saved, number one, have accepted the free gift of salvation, and then secondly, that, um, uh, amen, that you have a church home, whether it's this one or another one. Amen? amen. Tell your neighbor, we're all one God's children. Yes, we are one God's children. God bless you. God keep you <clears throat> is our prayer. Amen. I want to lift our offering now. And um, for those that we only lifted it for those that have not given today, most of us, I'm sure, gave as we walked through the door. Amen. All right, that's our new procedure. We want you to be prepared with your tithes and your offerings um, when you walk through the door. But if we missed you, it's okay. Amen. We, we want to catch you now. We miss you before. We'll get you now. Raise your hand. Brother Henry will come to you. All right. Praise his name. All right. Raise you got one or two hands. All right. All right. We're going to move quickly. All right. Raise them high one more time. So Brother Henry. Okay. Let's see three hands. See, actually, see four hands now. Five, four, five hands. Amen. Praise God. All right. Uh, Reverend Tony here. And uh, all right. I want to say our cash app is dollar sign Hickory Grove MBC. Cash app. Amen. Also extend the invitation to. Our virtual family, those on Facebook Live, 
Uh, Cash App, go ahead and sow that seed. Those of you on Facebook, dollar sign, Hickory Grove, uh, MBC. All right? Hickory Grove, MBC. For mail-in purposes, P.O. Box 1721, P.O. Box 1721, Jackson, Louisiana. All right? 70748. Okay? Now, we want to uh, uh, praise God. Let us, let us bless the seed. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for those that gave today. We, we ask you to bless them for that sacrifice. And bless the seed as well. In Jesus' name, amen. All right? We want to just say that we're grateful for the Reverend Tony, my, my preacher. Um, we will share with him on this past Thursday, he and his family at the Evergreen Baptist Church. And, um, it was not easy, but the Lord brought us through it. Amen. Amen. He and his wife. Sister Elizabeth and family, Amen. praise God. I want to personally thank Sister Carla, Amen. Mother Chris, and Sister Nelly. Amen. I don't think I missed anybody. Amen. Uh, those were the three that I saw um, that pressed their way Amen. to be with our brother. Amen. It really means a lot. Um, his day today Amen. might be yours. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we are certainly praying with them still um, as each day goes by. I don't know if I mentioned or not that Sister Boss and I did visit uh, Deacon Leon for your benefit for the most part that we did visit with Minister Pickett on um, last week, I think it was. Monday gone and Monday before that. One of the seven, I'm, whatever it was. <laughs> Amen. All right. We, we shared with her at the nursing home, and uh, she's still her, her old self. You know, she really is. And uh, she, she, um, she loves us, and she remembers us. And, and um, um, I think the one thing she talked about the most was some bananas. She loved, that woman loved bananas, man. <laughs> of course, I do too. <laughs> Although that might need to know that. <laughs> uh, she loves bananas, amen. And we did, we did take her some treats because um, uh, her son said she loves sweets, so we took her some some uh, some treats, and she was very appreciative. And we had we had church in her room, amen. We really did. So we want to let you all know that we will be getting to others down the line uh, as time goes by. Last Sunday, third Sunday, awesome worship, worship service at the McEwen Church. Um, amen. As the Reverend Jameson Jackson preached a powerful message. Now, we're still in the midst of our fasting and prayer. How y'all doing? <laughs> we are refraining from sugars, salts, sweets, and sodas. We are not on a diet. We're not trying to lose weight. We're trying to hear from God. Come on. We're trying to get somewhere with the Lord. Amen? That he might consecrate us. Strip us. Praise the Lord. Open our eyes. We see some stuff that we ought not be doing and some places we ought not be going to some folk that shouldn't be so close to us, all that kind of stuff. Amen. God is able to do it. So we're praying, still praying three times a day, 6 a.m., 12, noon, and 6 p.m. Now, with that said, the 4th District prayer calls are still going on three times a day, 6 a.m., 12, noon, 6 p.m. You have the number. Amen. You have the number. It's that 667 number. Okay? Um, the month of April, the Congress of Christian Education will be spearheading the calls. The women spearhead the month of March. Okay. April will be the Congress of Christian Education. And what the director is saying, uh, uh, the president, which is uh, Pastor Sanders, uh, what he's saying is that um, he 
is asking for anybody that wants to pray. It could be a man, woman, anybody, preacher, deacon, lay person, usher, choir, anybody. All you do is call the number at that particular time that you volunteer to pray. And uh, they're going to let you, you have to unmute your line and they'll let you know. Because they have more than one person praying at a given hour. Okay? They're shooting for three people at each time. And I know we've got a lot of different prayer calls going on. All right? I know that we at 12 o'clock we are on our own prayer line with Deacon Rob. We know that. Okay? But what I'm asking is for that 6 a and 6 p.m. for the month of April. All right? For the month of April, you have to um, uh, call in, amen. Even if you're not offering prayer, you can still call in and be a part of the prayers that are being prayed. Okay? So we're asking you to, um, uh, uh, we'll make sure that uh, you have Pastor Sanders' number because he wants each person to contact him directly. All right? All right. Praise God. Have his, send his number, his phone number, and his email address so that you'll have it, so that so he can put you on your date. Now, the key is for you to make sure you don't miss it. If it's important to you, you're not going to miss it. Now, if you're anything like me, I, I always set my alarm on my phone because I forget. I'm doing all kind of stuff and, you know, and, and stuff like that. So, because every morning, I have my alarm, every morning this whole month, Every morning, this whole month, my alarm is set on my phone. My wife is right there. She'll tell you, for 559. Hello? Oh, yeah. Why? So we can pray at six. Y'all with me? First thing we do is pray. Amen. Amen. So I, I hope and pray you're doing the same thing. All right, 6 a.m. Uh, if it's important to you, you'll do it. Amen. See, prayer got to be important. Amen. You believe that? Amen. Prayer has to be important to you. Amen. 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 So, um, uh, just want to let you know that we thank God for those that tuned in, called in to, uh, to the Zoom number this past Monday. That was this Monday because I said I had to be right. Because we had to get on the Zoom that night and you had a meeting. I remember right now. I remember coming back. <laughs> Get a little up in age a little bit, but it, you know, it, it kind of it helps me when I need the help. Um, our ministers' conference had our Zoom this past Monday. Vice President Freeman brought the message, and we thank God for those that called in, uh, Bible study, and all of that. Um, we didn't have Bible study, but we had our family focus this week. Uh, family focus is so important, y'all. Please don't forget about that. Please don't forget about family focus. Um, I was able to communicate with Sister Loris Minor this week. My brother Charlie, she said he's doing fair. I called the house and I didn't reach him. So I, I immediately contacted her and she said he's doing okay. Um, she thanks all of us for the many prayers. Amen. Sister Bridget Whitfield, is that you? Well, praise the Lord. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. Sister Bridget is in the house. Keep pressing your way, baby. She has been in the hospital a um, couple times, I believe, but Brother Tom is saying. Um, the one one time we went there, uh, they had just been, she had just been discharged. We missed her. Uh, but but however, um, Brother Tom keep us informed and, and we're praying and we see that our prayers are working. Amen? Amen. And we're also lifting up Brother Henry London, who's here today as well. We lifted him up. In Jesus' name, sometimes sometimes he doesn't feel too well. Amen. And, uh, you know, he's in dialysis three times a week and all of that. Amen. Amen. But we are um, lifting him in prayer. All right? Amen. Now, what I want to do now is um, Lady King's birthday. She don't even know I'm doing this. She don't even know I'm doing this. Lady King's birthday was um, Wednesday. And um, the, the woman of God is so valuable to us. Amen. So valuable. She's the leader of our women. 
uh, ministry, Christian Women United, and even with um, uh, since last year sometimes starting the Women Empowerment on Thursday night, which mo most of you are part of that as well, and uh, so many other things, and and the Lord just kind of just just kind of chunked her into the Sunday school uh, during the pandemic, and she's she's developing well with that, doing such a great job. Uh, but she had a birthday on this past weekend, and. and um, we want to uh, lift an offering for her and be a blessing to the woman of God. Amen. Thank you, Brother Henry. Amen. 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 And uh, Sister Cage is coming uh, now or later. It's up to her. Amen. And we want uh, Sister Sandra is going to be coming as she makes her preparation as well. We got a couple things we got to do. Um, today. All right. Let us be a blessing to this woman of God. Um, let's bless her real good. Amen. As she is such an asset to, to the church. I can say a whole lot. If I make it personal, I can say a whole, whole, whole lot, but uh, this goes beyond me. This goes beyond me. She's, she's an asset to the church. Before you 
you do anything, we want you to take center stage because I'm going to call everybody else up and I'm going to need one of these special gentlemen here to uh, be able to take their picture because we also want to celebrate our women. And so, right. uh, so no. Lady King can have a few minutes to herself and I'll talk to her and everybody else. I want you to go take your thing with you. Yeah, take your thing with you. All right. Yeah, all you like. Praise God. Yeah. And then I would like for, uh, on Family Focus, she recognized eight women all right. on Family Focus. And uh, we're going to start, not quite in order the way she did it, but I want to uh, say the elders, but yeah. our uh, women who started this foundation here to please stand. It goes to Sister Ruby King. <laughs> Sister Catherine Hardnett. Amen. What a blessing. It's just so nice. It's so nice. Amen. You got that right? Man, I'm fine. Isn't that nice? Yeah. The mother of our church, Sister Christine Holland. All right. Yes, sir. I'm right here. Sister Sheila King. All right. Praise the Lord. Dickens is Jesse Matthews. All right. That's it. Okay, Lady King, Sandra Hay, Carla Evans, Sheila King, Ruby King, Shirley Fowler, Christine Howard, Jesse Matthews, and Catherine Hardy. Mm -hmm. Who did you want? Oh, it's Carla. Yeah. Yeah, 
Let the church say amen. amen. We uh, we certainly thank God for all that has been done today. Uh, Brother Tom and Sister Bridget have to leave. They, he's headed to work. Bless you, man. God 